hi guys welcome back so in the previous one we saw that you know how we can protect the route and make sure nobody can access that particular route so whatever we have inside app directory here will not be accessed by anyone that we are sure of but this is not the use case we might want someone to access it right so people with certain access should be able to access it now i'll simply show you how we can do it uh, i'm not going to touch any backend or anything so i'll show you how it is usually done so we have a login page which does nothing right but we can use this to provide or set something like a cookie when user you know has certain permissions so for now anyone can like you know get permission let's say action i'm not going to change uh, the action you can actually have different uh, named actions i will talk about it in a different series altogether but for now, I'll create a method of post in this form and I'll have a button here which will submit the form and I'll call this gain access. This should be it. Um, which does nothing for now because we don't have, uh, uh, you know, we are not handling this form submission. Now, the way we can handle that is by a server file, page.server.js. Here it, we can have an uh, action. So I have this helper here, SwellKit Actions. Uh, I think I installed some plugin and it provides me that, but you can you can always type it out. Uh, the best thing is it gives me the types as well. So that's quite nice. So export const actions. Now we're gonna have default because we, we don't we didn't name our action anything, the form action. So let's make it an asynchronous function. Now here we want to set a cookie okay so using uh, we can get the cookies right away from here so let's see if we have it i'm guessing we do have that um so let's go to the console uh, okay so let me click this yeah so we can do something here so let me do cookies dot set i'll do I'll call this access and I'll make it true. Okay. But this is all like I'm what I'm doing is when somebody clicks the button, so I'll set a cookie with access as true. Uh, so let me go to the cookies here. Yeah, now we have site theme as light, that's the only cookie. But when I click on it, so we get the access true as well. And also the page refreshed. Uh, you already know that how we can. You know enhance progressively enhance it so that when javascript is available we don't really have to you know refresh the page but that's not the point here so we are looking at protecting the routes now if access is true then we can allow users to you know access those pages right so let me delete this for now um let me go back to the server hooks file um let me get the cookie here so it's the same way I'm doing it access equals e one dot get is access and it should be equal to a string true. Okay, so here what we do is if not access, like if user doesn't have access and they are in this route, only then redirect, right? So here, even though we don't have that cookie, if we try to go to the dashboard we see that we come back to the login page we don't even notice that but let's say i click this now i have this access cookie now if i go to dashboard uh where is the page okay i can i can access it if i go to profile page i can access this page that is because because of this cookie it it is true the access is true and that is the reason we are allowed to do this so let's imagine i change this to false all right and refresh the page and i'll redirect right back to the login page now again this isn't the right way of giving access to your users you should be having a login form with uh, asking for you know uh, email and password or some social login or something once it succeeds right you have to check that in the backend and once it succeeds you can set this cookie or you can set a set a token local storage um 
sometimes you know jwts um you can save it in local storage or session storage if you prefer and after that uh you should you the conditions will be very similar so you will check for that and maybe you will check for the backend as well like whether this token is valid or not and then give access to a user we'll see something simpler uh, in the next one thanks guys bye bye